We're gonna take you through one by one. I know this is your favorite because this is all that we get in our DMs is like, where's this one, where's that one? Um, what are you guys doing with this one? And what's the update? So we're gonna answer that all in this vlog right now. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Baby Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. In the victory lap, Alan Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse, a young horse, out of her champion Flo. She has absolutely been unstoppable. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go through and show you guys what the horses have been up to, what their updates are. We have all of the babies. We only have one horse that isn't under roof right now, and that's Chuck Norris. He's with Maggie Polonsic in Wyoming. She's running him. She's gonna be running him until I'm ready for him, maybe late spring. Um, so he's gonna be up there. Everything else is literally under roof and in-house. Um, because we're doing our own um, foundation training in-house now. So it's very, very big update. Um, by we, I mean not me. So we're gonna take you through one by one. I know this is your favorite because this is all that we get in our DMs is like, where's this one, where's that one? Um, what are you guys doing with this one? And what's the update? So we're gonna answer that all in this vlog right now. Okay, so this is a two-year-old. Her mom is Chuckarita and her dad is Slick by Design. She is Pink Buckle, Ruby Buckle, Incentive, all the incentives, that's what she is. And she's super fans. We've already started her foundation again. When I say we, I mean not, not me. Um, <laughs> the trainer at the barn has started all of these colts and done all of the things. So she is just getting started. Um, we have a little footage of her riding around and she looks absolutely incredible. Very, very, very smart. We're thinking very big things for her. So we're really, really excited about her. She just has the, she has the look. The problem I'm finding when you breed really good mares to really good studs and you get them started really well is that they all have the look. <laughs> That's what I'm finding is the problem, best problem, worst problem to have. So let's keep going. Okay, this is baby and he's a baby flow. Um, filthy fast and French. So his dad is an own son, a PC Frenchman out of a really, really cool race mare. And then of course you guys know baby Flo. and this is baby in a nutshell. So a little insecure, um, not a ton of confidence yet. He hasn't fully bloomed. Um, he has been started. So I sent him off to a trainer, um, beginning of this year um, to be started and hauled and exhibitioned. So he's got a beautiful start around the barrels. Um, but now we're going backwards and we're just working on foundational things to get him to give a little bit more confidence. Um, so he won't see barrels until I'm back in action. So he's just going to be um, building and growing and learning all the things and stuff that'll make him a really awesome rodeo horse in the future. So on top of the fact that he's absolutely stunning, I think he'll darken up just a little bit, but like if he doesn't, who cares? I know a lot of really great horses that are Palomino that are kind of this like a little bit washed out Palomino and I am here for him having a unique identity. So meet baby. This is spicy. He's low key a Nephi clone. Um, his rapper name, stage name, registered name <laughs> is little Uzi Neff because his daddy is Uzi and his mama is Nephi. And Cody said, we cannot miss this opportunity to name him after a rapper. So his name is little Uzi Neff. Um, he is a Nephi, filthy, fast and French. So the last two that you saw are half siblings, both three years old. Um, this colt has not been started around the barrels a ton yet. Um, he's just been barely, barely going. So he's got a good foundation started and he's learning more and more every day. But does he not give just like full Nephi vibes? He just, and this is the colt, if you guys remember, that was the crazy thumbnail when we were halter breaking colts. And then one day this colt just decided to be really, really kind, like kid pony kind, which was really crazy. So, um, but when he started, he got his name spicy because he was like off the Richter scale, jump over your head kind of crazy. And now he's not. So anyway, they grow and develop so much. It's so hard to name them when they're little tinies because um, they grow and change a ton. 
Okay, here is another half sibling, again, three years old. This guy is massively huge. I'm really in love with him. This is Flowbody. Registered name, Flowbody knows because it took AQHA so long to get us papers. Um, so his name is Flowbody knows. He is right now 15 hands tall and stout. Like he, this boy is gonna mature to be like a whole lot bigger than he is right now. He, he, um, Totally reminds me of Flowbot, but his mom is Knickknack. His dad is Filthy Fast and French. We call him Flowbody. Um, he's a really sweet boy. He's got an insane second barrel on him. Um, so watching him like come back through himself, I was pretty shocked because we didn't have him started extensively on barrels. And then I hauled him to like exhibition and just see, um, I guess last month, just kind of see where he was at and, and if he liked it and how quietly he rode around. And I had priced him to a bunch of people. And now I'm like, if somebody doesn't come through and like really, really want this horse, I'm definitely gonna keep him in the barn for myself because he is, insanely talented so i know you know six months into barrel training this sucker is going to be unreal um so that is flow body okay this is the golden child um everybody loves this one <laughs> this is pharaoh pharaoh is another half sibling to all of these this is actually a full sibling to spicy so this is i know they look completely different um, they are like Jesse Southerd and Cody Harmon as siblings. Um, one, they're, they're completely different. However, um, very, very, very talented. And yeah, if you didn't know that Jesse and Cody are sisters, I don't know how that gets overlooked and their DMs get blown up all the time. But Jesse's name before she got married was Harmon. And then Cody's last name is Harmon. Well, it's and it's, still that way on it's not a quinky dink. It's their sisters. So, so this is Pharaoh. He is an Uzi. Neffy. So Uzi was filthy fast in French. He's three years old. He's the most finished of all of these guys. Um, he was started on barrels by someone else for uh, the majority of this year. And then again, going back just to basics and foundation um, because he's already been hauled a lot. He's already been going a lot. Um, he's seen different places and done different things. And now it's just time for him um, to learn a lot more skills that we can use at rodeos of just, um, you know, learning how to be, be patient, learning how to fall asleep in my arms, you know, all the things how to take treats from Alex and Poppy. This is just a big love. I think everybody kind of, we've all, we've, we're all riding the Pharaoh bandwagon for sure. This guy, like if there were like a skater guy in the park That's with long guy. hair, just like, sup man, what's going on? That's who this is. His name is Flow Me The Money. He is a full sibling to Flow Body Nose. He is a lot smaller. He's obviously yellow. I don't know if you know this, but when you breed Palomino to Sorrel, you have a 50-50 shot of Palomino or Sorrel every single time you breed, just so you know. Um, so Jerry's like, sup, man? I love your vans. You're just, you, I love the energy today. So he's very like Owen Wilson slash, what's the hot guy, Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> Like he's shirtless for no reason. Like that's who he is. Um, so, or what's the scary guy we were all in love with back in the Ryan day? Sheckler. Ryan Sheckler. <laughs> he gives you Ryan Sheckler vibes. Um, so he, his name is Flow Me The Money, like a way back in the day movie um, called Jerry Maguire. And so his name is Jerry. Also can't resist a good moment to have like Jerry, Jerry, every time he wins. Like, I just think, you know, you are not the father moments couldn't be missed on this guy. So yes, he's absolutely stunning. He's going really, really, really good around the barrels. Um, he again was one. So all three Palominos went to a trainer, um, last spring 2021 spring and they've been there ever since and now they're coming home and not doing barrel work they're only doing foundational stuff um and learning the ropes on that so take a look at jerry and don't tell him he's pretty because he already knows this ham of a child is slick nick he is two years old he is a two-year-old slick by design 
and his mother is Nick and Cash. Nick and Cash was ridden by my friend Jody Cucarello, who won a ton of stuff on that horse. That mare is still winning with her daughter Taylor, and I got the opportunity to buy this colt, um, and I'm obsessed with him. So to say that he's gorgeous is an understatement. To say that he's a beautiful mover is an understatement. He has just taken to all of the foundational training that he's received here, and it's just the most beautiful thing ever. And he, around the barrels, he's like next level. Um, it's really, really crazy to see how much he loves to turn. So really excited about this colt, but he's only two, and he's big. He's a big boy. So I'm excited for you guys to see him, but he's got a long time to go before he's going to be on the A-team. So we have a long time to be excited. I'm pumped about him, though. This young man we've been calling Bobby. Um, he is a full sibling to Fancy Nancy. So half sibling to almost everything here. If you haven't noticed, we only care about everything being related. So his mom is Knickknack, which makes him a half sibling to Mojo. His dad is Caliente Firewater, which makes him a half sibling to, or a full sibling to Fancy Nancy that's in the barn. So his registered name is Pending, um, but his registered name should be flow me away so we're very excited this guy is ruby buckle incentive he's a yearling he's got a lot of growing to do he of course has not been started doing much other than just eating and growing um and being cute that's kind of his job for right now good this is l she's fabulous she is just she is everything she's got a huge personality she is a love she's a glamour queen she is star A plus 4.0 GPA student. That's who she is, like she's just amazing. So let me tell you about her pedigree. This is gonna branch off a little bit, so follow your girl. Long time ago I had a mare named Pearl Snap. I raised that mare, my dad actually did. Her mom is an Oklahoma fuel mare and she is sired by a son of Dr. Nick Barr. We raised her because we raised that stallion out of Dr. Nick Barr and then her mom, we actually bought kind of as a rescue um, but she was an Oklahoma Fuel. Poppy loves Oklahoma Fuel breeding. So I bought that brood mare and begot Pearl Snap. Pearl Snap's now 15. I trained Pearl Snap. She's a rodeo winner. Um, she's been a 1D state championship winner. She's done all sorts of things, arena records, all, all of the above she's done. Um, and we kicked her out just to be a mom. She gave us L um, as her first one born on this place. And she is a two-year-old mom pearl snap which is her name is nick's fuel and then her dad is shawnee bug leo which makes her incentive to absolutely everything um so she's fancy dance i would say she's very top one percent of our hopefuls at the ranch as far as two-year-olds go um we don't have any that we don't like is the thing also so that's the other thing about breeding really good mares to really good studs there's no coals there's no coals and that's a bit of a problem. So her name is Elle, like Elle Woods, because her name is Flo's Legally Blonde. So um, I believe, yeah, she's like, what? Like it's hard every time that she wins, that's gonna be her like tagline, hashtag what? Like it's hard. So anyway, get ready for Elle. She and I, <laughs> she and I look the same today. But this is what we're giving today, okay? Flomelo and I are both equally matched. We are serving cold leftovers. That's what we're serving, and I'm here for it. So Flomelo is, she is out of Pearl Snap, so this is a half-sibling maternally um, to Elle, and her sire is Traffic Guy, so this makes her um, a half-sibling to Mojo. So everybody's family, P.S., um, we did not know that we had the potential to get Cremello. We really thought we were gonna get um, Buckskin. That's what we were really thinking we were gonna get. But um, one of the horses carries some sort of a silver dilution gene. So we're not gonna do that mix again. We'll, we're breeding traffic guy, uh, to Traffic Guy because we're obsessed with him. We're obsessed with his colts. Um, I think Mojo has proven to us that we really, really like the feel of those horses and their durability and their trainability. So we're going to go back for more. We're just not going to do it with a Palomino mare. Flomelo is coming too. Um, she will start being started under saddle next year, um, but she's grown quite a bit. So we're really excited to give her a start. The sun's not out today, so she's allowed to be outside. 
Um, she's got all sorts of mane. I think she's very fancy looking. I personally think Cremellos are really, really gorgeous. Um, but you know, that's just me. That's me. I can't wait to put all sorts of crazy colors on her. This is my friend's horse that works here and does all the foundational training. This is Chex and she's rotten and spoiled and loves treats. And that's who she is. But anybody that doesn't know how to ride that comes here, rides can ride her because she is so like calm, quiet. She's just done such a beautiful job training her. So anyway, she's amazing. Okay, so Dupe is walking behind her best friend, Sunday Brunch. Now, Sunday Brunch, we do have a little update on. And also, Dupe, who is in full, um, sired by, the baby's sired by Streak and Lil Wayne, which we're very excited about. He's Ruby Buckle Incentive, and everybody else always wants to know what Dupe is up to. Um, she's up to chilling and eating and hanging out. That's what she's doing. Um, she's out here with all these babies. We're about to move her to Poppy's house because his grass is a lot better than mine. He's got a lot less horses on his land. So we always take up, scoop up a bunch of these um, brood mares that are in foal or babies or whatever. And we split the difference so that um, during the winter, our pastures can rest a little bit on the grass that they're at. So um, Sunday brunch, she has been winning um, with a girl that I let borrow her. She's been doing really great, um, but now she's kicked out here. So everybody's just helping us raise babies. So that's the tea. Okay, so really quickly, this is Flo Cyrus. This is a Nephi, currently a stud, gonna be a gelding, um, a Nephi Shawnee Bug Leo. Next to him, right here, that is Flomeo. Flomeo is a gelding um, that is out of Chuckarita and sired by Shawnee Bug Leo. The next one over, that is a filly. She is sired by Betty the Cat, and her mom is Dawn's Victory, so half sibling to Chuck Norris. And then Golo is around here somewhere. She just took off. At, no, she's up on top of the hill. So Golo is the only one missing. That's the one that Nini named. Um, she is a Shawnee Bug Leo and Low to the Flow, otherwise known as Lolo, her very firstborn baby. So we're super excited about that one. Way over in the corner over there is Lux. So that's Nephi's baby that she just had that we just weaned. Um, that is a winner's version, Nefertiti. Really, really excited about him. But girl, when I tell you he came out stacked with an attitude, 10 foot, 12 foot, eight. Um, so we put him out here with the brood mares as quickly as possible. We call it gin pop. Um, just because in gin pop, you learn some manners. So we turned him out with these old fashioned mamas that will just like, boy, you better listen up, go clean your room. Um, that's kind of the vibe out here. And that's what we wanted him to have. Um, we don't have big plans to keep him a stallion, although he would be very valuable for that. We're going to cut him at the very first opportunity. However, um, we just find that being out here and around all of these mares and kind of being pushed down the pecking order a little bit helps these guys be a lot more manageable before we bring them in. And to wrap up, this is Flo's on fire. We call her Fancy Nancy. She's so fancy and she's so sweet. She's very sweet. She has gone around the barrels. She fogged up my glasses. She's gone around the barrels a few times, but more importantly, what she's doing is the foundational training um, still. So she's still getting all of the bells and whistles and she's really, really, really fun. We were gonna sell her and then I decided, let me take her around the barrels and see what happens. And what ha happened was she's incredible. Um, so she's gonna stay. She is Ruby Buckle Incentive, three years old. She's built just exactly how I like them, which is not too big, not too small, but pretty stout. Her mom is Knickknack. Her dad is Caliente Firewater. That makes her Ruby Buckle Incentive. She is a half sibling to Mojo and a full sibling to Bobby, who you saw outside. We're very, very excited about her. Again, she's gonna be a little late. We may push her to the five-year-old fraternities um, just because of what's going on this year. Of course, I had big plans for everybody to jump on these colts and be running barrels throughout the winter, but um, we'll do that when everybody gets bored. As of right now, we're so busy in the warehouse that like, it's kind of nice to be just like, you keep learning, side pass, lead changes, stop, roll back all of the things that you're being taught um, while we're in the warehouse because we're gonna need all of that so badly for so many decades. So anyway, stay in school. That's what we're, that's what we're aiming for. I hope you guys love the barn tour. I hope you loved getting to know all of these colts. You're gonna see them so much. If people connect to different ones, I wanna know exactly which one you connected to, which one do you think 
is the one that's gonna make which one's gonna be the superstar. I can't wait to hear from you and um, find out. I feel like everybody, when you watch their journey, it's so cool to watch them evolve over time because they look so different now than what they'll look like when they're running at like Reno or Greeley or someplace really big, you'll say you knew them when. So thank you guys for being a part of this. Thanks for believing in our journey. Um, this is why we ride these horses because it's one big family and we think um, that we can just keep preserving the pedigree that my parents got me when I was a little kid and it's so cool to us. So everything you saw today is the three and under club. So not the in utero foals, not those, um, the ones that are coming. There's one at Poppy's that's missing. Um, but make sure to stay tuned because next week we're going to give you guys insight into like the A team. These are the guys that I run on, that I rodeo on, and I might give you some insight on what my main horse will be next year. So keep your, keep your eyes peeled for that. Be sure to turn that notification um, bell on so that I can send you a little notification as soon as it goes up you can be the first to watch it i can't wait to see you next week and as always don't forget to count your blessings drink your protein and say thank you to jesus see you next time